Today, I am going to show you how to use the Graphs tool in CodeGPT, the most efficient way to connect your repositories with AI agents and interact with your code. The first thing we need to do is check that we have configured the connection with our repositories. To do this, we should go to the connection section and validate that we have it configured. Otherwise, we should go to Add Connection and add our account from one of the providers, GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. After checking that we already have our connection to the Git provider we use, we can go to the Graphs section and create a new graph. Now it is time to choose our repository. To do this, we need to select the Git connection we have previously configured, our account, the organization, the repository, and the branch we want to connect with. Finally, click on Create Graph. Select the graph you have already loaded. Now you will access the result of your code graph. In the central part, you will see the graph and all the functions, classes, assignments, files, and main elements of your code. You can click on each element, and you will see the dependencies and a detailed explanation of each element in the right section of the screen. On the left section, you will have access to a chat where you can make inquiries about the repository and its elements. Soon, you will also be able to access and download the wiki of your repository from here. Now it is time to create an agent who is an expert on the code of our repository and knows absolutely everything. To do this, we will go to the My Agents menu option and create a new blank agent. We can give this agent a name and assign it an avatar. We can also add an initial prompt or instruction, and now we will use a very basic prompt as an example. Finally, we will go to the Knowledge section to assign the created graph to the agent. From now on, you can start asking your agent anything you want about the code in your repository. Now it is time to interact with your agent specialized in your complete repository from your IDE. In this case, we open VS Code with our extension already installed and using CodeGPT Plus as the provider. We will search for the agent we created from CodeGPT Studio, and once selected, we can start asking it anything we need to know about our code. As you can see, the responses are very detailed because regardless of the size of your repository, Creating the graph based on the code of our repository and simultaneously creating the complete repo wiki internally offers us the possibility of having the complete and detailed context of our code easily and comprehensively. 
This guarantees precise responses based on the specific knowledge of all your code. This functionality is perfect for working with legacy, old, and undocumented repositories, ideal for improving the onboarding of our development teams, since they do not depend on other team members to understand the code they will be working with. It also improves interaction with our already generated code, thus avoiding hallucinations and incorrect answers. We invite you to try our graph functionality, and we would love to know the use cases you give it. Thank you very much, and we hope it will be a great help. See you soon. Thanks for watching.